Do you know what the best version of you looks like? Just take a look in the mirror, the person that you were born to be and say, huh, I'm taking on the best. Every day is a new day to step it up. And maybe some days I feel like giving up. I just don't get it, but I can't forget that I'm a believer in the power of yet. I may not know it now, but I will. I will. Take a deep breath and I'm chill. Mistakes are part of the game. I embrace them. I don't run from my fears. I face them. How? Pay attention, I take charge of my learning. Draw it out and work it out to show my journey. Try until it clicks, make sure that it sticks. Working at it constantly is my secret. Practice is not something I do once I'm good. It's the one thing I do that makes me good. So I take another step, I'm obsessed with progress. You know why? Why? I'm taking on the best. Hey world changers and welcome to another video lesson of taking on the best. My name is Miss McCarthy and I am on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you and I am so excited that I get to be your guide as we not only dive into Florida's best standards for third grade math but just know that I'm also here to support you and encourage you every step of the way as you take on the best version of yourself. So without further ado, let's get to this video lesson and let me teach ya. Today we're going to be comparing two fractions using a number line. So grab your pencil, grab your workbook page, and let's get ready to take some notes. Let's start it off with number one. It says to compare two fourths and two thirds using the number line. So comparing means that we're going to be using these symbols over here. This symbol means less than. This symbol right here means greater than. I'm actually gonna fix less than because it's not two word, or not one word, it's two words. Less than, greater than, and of course, you are very familiar with the equal sign, I'm sure, but if not, we'll go ahead and write it equal to, okay? Greater than, less, less than, greater than, or equal to. We're going to be using that to compare our two fractions. So we are provided with two number lines. For the first one, let's use the top number line to plot the point of two fourths. So here we have zero, and here we have one, and I see right here that we have one, two, three, four equal jumps between each hole. And if we go on to two, it would be one, two, three, four jumps to get to two. So in between each hole number set, we have four equal jumps. So that makes perfect sense for plotting two fourths. So going one jump would be one fourth. The next jump would be two fourths, then we have three fourths, and finally one would be the same thing as four fourths. That makes it easy for us to plot where two fourths is. Let's put a point right here. There is where two fourths is located. We've got two fourths. Now let's plot the point for two thirds. The next number line we're given, we have zero, we have one, and if this number line is correct, we should have one two, three equal points, three equal jumps between each hole, which it does. So we can say this first jump would be one third, two thirds, and then one would be three thirds. But our whole goal here is to plot the point two thirds. So now we need to compare where these two points are located to use these number lines to help us. So if I do that and I bring two fourths down right there, Ooh, I can see that two fourths is actually less than two thirds. Because according to our number lines, two thirds goes a little bit further. So if we come over here, we can say that two fourths, we need to say is less than, is less than, so we need to use this sign right here. Two fourths is less than two thirds. And the way that I like to remember it is thinking about it like a mouth right there, okay? And this little monster wants to eat whatever quantity, whatever value is larger. So we know that two thirds is greater, so that's why it's going after two thirds, okay? That's just a little way for me to remember the signs and where they go. But we also need to make sure that we can read this. So this would be that two fourths is less than 
to thirds, all right? Go ahead and copy all of this in your notes, and when you are ready to move on, join me for number two. All right, for number two, we're comparing four-fifths and three-fifths using the number line below. So let's see what we've got here. For the first number line, we have one, two, three, four, five jumps between each hole. So we can plot four fifths at the fourth jump. So one fifths, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and then five fifths would be right there at the one. So for the first fraction, we can plot four fifths right there. And if we're looking at the next one to plot three fifths, we've got one, two, three, four, five equal parts between each hole. So our denominator is five, that works out great. And now for our fractions, this would be one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. Of course, we could keep on going, but we can stop because we have three fifths right here. All right, so let's take our first fraction, four fifths, and bring it down to compare. Ooh, we can see that four fifths goes a little bit past three fifths, meaning that four fifths is greater, right? So we want to use this sign right here to show that four fifths is greater. And if you're thinking about it like that, that monster that wants to eat the larger value, it wants to go after the four fifths, so that's what it's doing. But we, most importantly, we need to make sure that we can read this correctly, so let's read it. Four fifths is greater than three fifths because it goes further along on the number line to the right. Okay, make sure that you have all of this copied and when you're ready, join me for number three. Okay, number three says that we're going to compare six sixths and six eighths using the number line below. And there we go for our signs that we're using the less than, greater than, or equal sign to correctly compare the fractions. Let's see what we've got happening in that first number line. We have the whole number zero and the whole number one, and the jumps in between would be one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six equal jumps between each hole, so this would be one sixth, two sixth, three sixth, four sixth. Ooh, put the right denominator there, Miss McCarthy. Five sixth, and then one would be six sixths. And that is where we can plot our point, right there. And now we need to plot six eighths, six eighths. Okay, so here's our two whole numbers. We should have eight equal jumps between each hole because our denominator is eight, but let's check just to make sure. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there are eight equal jumps between each hole. So this would be one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and then one would be eight eighths, okay? But our fraction is six eighths, which is located right here. Okay, now if we compare the two fractions, bringing that other point down would be right there, so we can see that six sixths is greater than six eighths. So let's use the correct sign. Let's write it down. Six sixths is greater than six eighths. All right. And that is it for this video lesson. So pause the video to make sure you have all of this copied and then let's close out this video. All right, world changers, I hope that the information in this video lesson clicked for you and now it's time for you to make sure that it sticks. How do you do that? 
by taking charge of your learning. You can do that by rewatching this episode if you need to, ask questions for anything that you're not sure of. Most importantly though, get that extra practice in because practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. Before we go, let me remind you that your only competition in life is with that person staring back at you in the mirror yourself. Do not compare yourself to other people. Just focus all of your energy on being the best you that you can be, okay? That's what we're all about here, right? Because we are taking on the best. All right, world changers, get out there and make the world a special, beautiful place in your own way. And I will see you on an episode real soon, okay? Bye.